power and grace in motion. A gray whale surfaces in the warm waters off of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. The females have traveled up to 10,000 kilometers from the Arctic to give birth. And this is one of the only places on Earth you see the greys swim with their newborn calves. Scientists have been coming here for decades to study them. Sí, la Laguna San Ignacio es importante para ballena gris en conjunto con otras lagunas costeras. The San Ignacio Lagoon offers the ideal water temperatures and safety for the gray whale. This is especially important for the young whales because predators such as orcas and large sharks don't enter the shallow water. The isolation and remoteness of places like this is what's kept thousands of whales coming back here year after year. But the same isolation has kept the communities who've lived here for hundreds of years in poverty. Now, because of the whales, that's starting to change. Locals used to fear the whales and referred to them as devilfish. But over the years, more and more tourists have come to see the greys. And with that, local attitudes began to change. Fishermen like Antonio Aguilar have never looked back. Many people here make their living from the whales. Men and women work in kitchens as boat drivers, shuttle drivers, cleaners, lots of things. It's a relationship which means thousands of people are now able to glimpse through a unique window where whales up to 15 meters long offer themselves up to be touched by human hands. For many tourists, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's something amazing and beautiful. They seem to come out of nowhere. They're so friendly. This year, there were more gray whales to see, with scientists reporting a 50% increase over numbers last year. A return from the brink of extinction, based in part on a newfound appreciation of these marine giants. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Baja California, Mexico.